Let's go for a run. Now, I am no marathoner. I mostly go for a run because A, I'm working out some frustrations or I've been sitting all day and I just need some exercise. Like this is the best once a week. And look, it's evident by the clothes I'm wearing. Man, I got some chinos on and some vans. So ain't no running gear, but what I think I could do is just make some joggers. That'll make it a little better. All right. Well, that's the intro, so I said, oh, let's cut this thing short. I've had my run for the week. My plan initially was that I was gonna go to the thrift store, buy a couple double XL, triple XL joggers, and then use them as fabric. But I decided, you know what, why don't I just go check the meager fabric section. And not only did I find the perfect fabric, but look at how much of it I found. Trace this out. A problem that I seem to consistently have with this pattern is that it's too high waisted. So I'm gonna take a little bit off the top here. And because they're joggers, I want them a little bit more loose fitting. So I'm gonna add a little bit on the outside here through the hips. And then I do like that look these days of joggers being a little bit more snug through the calves, so I'm just gonna take a pinch out here as well. Let's see if I can do this in one foul swoop. Double up my fabric, just about, there we go. Turn that a little bit, there we go, okay. Moving on to the front piece. This is such stretchy fabric. This wax just seems to pull on it. Now because I removed some out of the back, I do have to remove the same amount out of the front here. A touch through the hips again. You know what this color reminds me of? 1990s. Northern Reflection sweaters. The 90s are back, might not be such a bad thing. I don't know if that Northern Reflections thing was just a Canadian thing, but it certainly was a big deal here. Not to be forgotten, my various pocket pieces. And look at how much fabric I still have to spare. Oh boy. Fun little party trick. Rather than re-threading this whole machine when I need to swap out colors, what I can do is just snip, swap out, tie these two ends together, and then just run the machine. However, oh, oh, oh boy. I've done something wrong. Oh boy. Something, no, nope, uh, no, nope, we're still, oh, bugger. It's come undone at the bottom here. My grand demo has failed me. We'll get to work. Maybe next time I'll get it right. Uh, starting with the back pieces and then there's just a little bit of a taper in here along the back. Do the seam right along the butt. And then moving on to the back pockets. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, I still don't remember exactly how to do it. So just give me a minute here. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. All right. Right, and then I do that. Okay. First here, I'm going to prep some of these raw edges. Editing corn here. Uh, seems sewing Cornelius from earlier. Forgot to plug his mic in properly. And so for the next little while, there's no audio. 
Good thing I'm here. I'm going to uh, narrate the action. So first I measured out just to make sure that I placed the pieces of the pocket in the right place. Gave myself a couple markings so I knew where to sew. And away I stitched. First the top, then the bottom. And then the scary bit of cutting into the fabric itself, because there's no going back after that. Stuffed the pockets through, got it all ever so nicely placed. A good old ironing just to make sure it sits properly flat. And then top stitched it down, top along the bottom. And then a couple zigzag stitches uh, along the sides just to make sure that it's nice and secure. All right, back to earlier sewing corn. I almost forgot I need to close up the pockets in the back here, so. Moving on to the front of the pants and I'm not putting in a zipper, so. Just one straight surge down the front. I'm gonna put on pockets along the side, those hidden seam style ones, so. Prepping the raw edges again. I gotta watch a video again. All right. Hmm, okay. Okay, time for this boy to swim. And then I have to attach the other side. That's gonna go like this which means that this pocket piece has to go here like this. Yes. All right. I believe what I gotta go like this, yeah. And then I have to perfectly line this up and then do the same thing at the bottom. And now here was the bit that I was, uh, was unsure of, but what I do is I nicely a little cut right here, so that can fold over. All right, come on. There we go, and around we go. Now, let's repeat this along the bottom here. Flip that around the other way. All right to add a little bit of strength to that corner where I trimmed it by the pocket here. I am gonna add a little bit of a zigzag stitch. Look at that. They're starting to resemble pants, yeah? I'm just gonna run a bunch of seams down the legs to turn them into their, uh, their final shape. Moving on to the waistband, and this is something I've never actually done before, so. These videos have such quaint music, huh? Huh. All right, I'm gonna need a moment here to study, all right? All right, so first up, I do need to trim myself a waistband. Draw a line. Let's see here. This is an inch and a half. Plus my seam allowance would make for about there. So let's do four-ish. Okay. Boom. Sewed my band together. And then I fold this in half. Pin it on and and now this is what's technically apparently known as a casing waistband. Surge on the waistband. However, I don't go all the way to the end, only about to say, oh, roughly here. 
and leave a little bit of a gap. I now take this elastic and I just start to worm it through. All right, I've come up with another idea. This has taken too long to try to massage it through. I'm gonna pull this back out. I'm gonna take this clip from an old bag, wrap that around, in you go. It, uh, it came undone on there. So now I've run a stitch over it, which I can undo after. So now let's start again. Ta-da! Let's pull that out a little bit. There we go. Go like this. Pull on the waistband, suck it in there real nice like. All right. Pull it a little bit taut. Close it up. Final step. Not to be forgotten, hemming the bottom. Not bad, huh? Come on, Manny, Mandy, bring it on. Give me those compliments. They're not bad. As far as the first pair of joggers, I've done pretty decently. I think the the fit of them is uh, actually better than I thought I would have done. Granted, it's a soft, forgiving fabric, but uh, nonetheless. Let's look at that taper along the bottom there. Not too shabby. Around the waist, the waistband turned out all right. The pockets just hand slide right in. However, I do have to be honest, I will not lie about these pants. There are a few things I could have done better, like this back pocket on the left side here. Look at that, look at how massive this gap is right here. Oh, it's like thicker than the actual welt at the bottom. Uh, and that zigzag stitch there has also gotten rather messy and sideways. I mean, like, look at that. Look at that. This one, on the other hand, you know what? This one turned out all right. I'm happy with that one. Uh, along the sides, the zigzag stitches to strengthen either ends uh, have gotten a little bit messy as well, which, uh, you know. But uh, these are little details. I'll work them out. Overall, I'm going to give myself two thumbs up. Also, I should say, they are super toasty. I've been wearing them for a little bit and oh my goodness, heat central. These are gonna be wintertime running joggers. Come on, you two. Is it, this deafening silence is your amazement, isn't it? Okay, all right.